sadly, the, hunt, the Scottish driver, the Hunter Motorsport driver, Sam Baker, Christoph Salah, Ethan Martin. So one of our Austrian drivers did not make it, Christoph Salah. Uh, Ethan Martin, Sam Longley, Ethan Ling missed out if it hadn't been for the last lap of the superheat ling would be in but he is sadly out ollie goodyear luke pate 40 matthew lambert has made has not made it neither is ralph youngling uh, ramirion ubi reese bailey willoughby steel uh, jukas prevalonis arthur thacker max taylor yannick jacobs from germany benjamin southgate john brown hope he's okay after his role this morning jack gillingham uh, Gemma hyons caitlin seabrook joshua rudd les taylor and george hunter they're not in this race. Sadly, they failed to qualify. Nicole Sutherland will be getting ready and she'll be speaking to some of the drivers who have qualified. Uh, there in the foreground there, just turning us back to next to the driver, there's the gentleman with the blue Jack Dex racing jacket. That's Alex Moody. You can see his faded race suit because he left his new race suit at home. Um, look at that. It's, it's not a red and white Cato Motorsport race suit. It's a pink and white um, uh, Cato Motorsport. Luca Schlegel from Austria uh, for the Kraft Motorsport sport team. Lucas Schlegel has, has raced in the Rotax Grand Finals uh, for the Potenza Engines team for the Kraft Motorsport team uh, the Gilbert family and you know yeah, Jan Stiak uh, and what have you. They, they, the Kraft Motorsport team really smart livery cart mm -hmm. and going very well as well. If you are looking for a under uh, uh, for a underdog terrible grammar Henry Baudet. If you are looking for an underdog in this race look no further than Stefan Kazmarzik starting 31st. Gustav Usakov's down as a privateer. Spencer Brawl on the CRG 21st for cart number 65. If you're that way inclined, that is, and you want to cheer for an underdog, uh, Spencer Braum, uh, very, um, he's the driver that famously ended Anthony Jordan's career in the British Karting Championship when Anthony said, so you're trying to tell me this is easier and cheaper to race in Belgium than the, Br in the British Championship. And then Anthony realised what he had said. <laughs> but Spencer Braum, uh, runner up, he's got the Team UK race suit on, uh, runner up, oh, he's, no, he's got a CRG race suit on, of course he has, Nathan Chafer is here. Uh, um, but he, uh, finished second in the Rotax E20 final. There is uh, the, the grid forming up. All the major players are there. Hunter, Higgins, Cunnington, you know, Dan Holland, Hunter Motorsport, Guy Cunnington Racing, KR Sport, Sam Pollitt Racing. Teddy Pritchard Williams has told me I am going to be coming in this one. Don't you worry, I'm going for it. Mm. Uh, he said, mark my words, I'm going towards the front. So watch for Teddy Pritchard Williams standing there, Super Ted. There is Matthew Higgins. He's got the little cheeky Welsh dragon on the back of his crash helmet. And speaking of little cheeky chappy, there's Paul Spencer. Yeah, Paul. Um, uh, uh, for Strawberry, the Strawberry Racing Supremo. Uh, it's Lomax is there with some curtains. So 1998 call, they want your hair cut back, Reese. Uh, and there's Matt Cooley uh, showing uh, uh, the, the strawberry racing hoodie. And uh, we'll be getting ready to uh, speak to some of our contenders uh, very, very shortly as we uh, look and wait the final race, Andrew Mather, of the weekend. Oh, it's been a super weekend, hasn't it, here at Wilton Mill to kick things off for this year's Vera Tools British Car Championships. And I know it sounds a little bit corny. I've been looking forward to this week, uh, this race all week, so it's going to be cracker. Before I've... we get to it, though, let's head down to the grid and to Nicole Sullivan. Nicole, over to you. On the grid here, ahead of our Senior Rotax 2024 O-Plate Final. Just quickly catch up with pole sitter Kai Hunter. Hi, Kai. Hi, Nicole. Day so far, good? Yeah, I think it's been it's been a bit challenging with the weather. I think uh, now our last heat, obviously, it rained on slick, so I just wanted to keep it on the road so I can be starting pole for the main final. Yeah, and you're undoubtedly one of the most experienced drivers in the paddock now. In these races where it's much longer than the heats, how do you manage with the extra time, tyre management? I think uh, around here it's obviously quite abrasive, so you can't just go full uh, full out too soon. So, But I think it is a final, so I'm going to give it everything I've got. Well, best of luck to you, Kai. Thank you. Just see if we can quickly catch you up with another driver. We'll interrupt Caden McQueen's fun. Caden, Rotax O-Plate, how are you feeling? Yeah, uh, confident. I think we've got the speed. I think uh, we made a little mistake in the pre-final, which 
meant that we didn't start as far up as we should, but we've definitely got the speed and uh, the knowledge of the track to, to do something with it. So, um, yeah, we'll just see how it goes and plan it out and make sure we make the right decisions. Well, very best of luck to you. Caden, we'll throw back up to Henry and Andrew in the comms box. Thank you very much, Nicole. Yeah, really looking forward to this one, four o'clock here in the UK. If you're watching us uh, from around the world, live coverage of the 2024 British Open, the British Open Championship, the last race of the weekend, the final four, the senior Rotax Oplate. Had a quick chat there with, of course, Kai Hunter, won this race last year and the year before that and in 2020 as well looking to make it four from five in the seniors and uh, five from six across all heats uh, across all categories because let's not forget he won the junior one back in 2019 having said that there is a, a very long list of illustrious drivers trying to stop him we'll be back with live coverage here from wilson mill after these short messages Back with us live here. Next up, it is race 30 of the weekend, the senior Rotax O-Plate final. We started the weekend with 60 odd drivers, 60, uh, 61 in total. We finished with 34. Let's run through the grid for this year's O plate in senior Rotax. Kai Hunter starts on pole position alongside his former teammate and good friend Matthew Higgins. Guy Cunnington and Macaulay Bishop start on row two. Caden McQueen and Jack Lilly go from row three. Lewis Gilbert and Ben Follen start from row number four. Teddy Pritchard Williams, Joshua Graham, Tristan Rennie, and Kean Garrity. And oh no, Alex Moody. He is now in a bad moody. Lorenzo. Somebody didn't bolt his tyre on. Lorenzo Cordell, Neil Clark, Jack Collins, Jamie Perilly, uh, uh, Perilly, and this uh, Angus Scrivener and Tyler Harris. That's uh, your midfield running into row 10. Morgan Porter and Brandon Klein, Nagelvort, Spencer Brown, and Reg Haywood go from row 12. There is the rest of the order, the field coming round uh, to complete the formation lap. Yep. Already, we've had problems, I think, for Tristan Rennie. I think William Pemble, yes, there is William Pemble, William Pemble. Oh. has had a problem. And also Alex Moody. Are we good for a go? No, I thought no. that might be happening. Let's go around again. No, Just I to wouldn't. run through the second yes. half of the order once again. So, uh, Neil Clark and Lorenzo Cordell on row seven. Jack Collins and Jamie Pirelli on row eight. Angus Scriven and Tyler Harris on row nine. Morgan Porter and Brandon klein Nagelvort on row 10. Spencer Brahman and Reg Hayward row 11. William Pemble and Deacon Russell on row 12. Archie Buckle and Gustav Usakovs on row 13. Ewan Charman, great to see him here in this final. He's on row 14 alongside Liam Hartley. Alex Cole and Alex Moody were due to start on row 15. Moody is already gone from this one. Stefan Kaczmarczyk and Lucas Ellingham go from row 16. Ellingham, who was the runner-up in this race last yep. year. Gabe Fairbrother and Lucas Schlegel completes the 34 qualifiers and I this just race. spotted Joe Turney in the paddock. I was yes. doing some driver coaching with our Genty Motorsports, yeah. the Kart Republic. And of course, Joe, uh, you know, recover, has recovered now after that uh, horrific accident that he suffered in the World Championships last year while he was on course to become Britain's next World Karting Champion. He probably still will be next Britain's next World Karting Champion. Just got to wait for this year to do and it. And it could be, in, it could be on home soil And it soil could be at home well. soil as well. OK, we'll talk about that later in the year. Now we've got a British Open champion to decide. 12 minutes are underway here at Wilton Mill. Away they go for the senior Rotax final. Good start for Kai Hunter straight into the lead. Guy Cunnington up to second place. There's a little bit of wrestling at the back of the field yes. and immediately that's Caden McQueen on the attack in his first final in the O plates for KR Sports. Seven years with Croc Promotions. What can he do here? He's defending straight away from Matthew Higgins but that is just the start that Kai Hunter wanted, has won this race the last two oh, years, has won it three times in the last four, through coming there as well. Well, there's the driver wow. who broke that streak in 2021. Lewis Gilbert, the number four, is already gaining positions. 
Yeah, and Teddy Pritchard Williams has also made a storming start. There goes Super Ted flying over the curves, and there's Spencer Braum uh, up a couple of places on the CRG as well. Now, Teddy Pritchard Williams has got a pass Lewis Gilbert. So Hunter Cunnington, Higgins, Gilbert, and Pritchard Williams makes the move, stick into Christmas Corner, and uh, puts Teddy up. Into, oh, on the back of the pack, oh. there's another driver. Ewan Charman, that is a heavily... Ah, now, is he going to... There's a, a handshake there. Is he okay? Something on That's that barrel has failed and uh, has taken Charman, and it's taken Neo Clark and Archie Buttle out of the race. New leader, Guy Cunnington. Well, he did this a week ago in the club round preparing for this event. Guy Cunnington hits the front of the order at the end of lap number two demotes Hunter down to second place. There's Lucas Ellingham coming through the field. Multiple time club champion here at Wilton Mill. Runner up last year, what can he do? Yellow flag. No overtaking through here. Who went with Ewan Charm? Good to see that Ewan's okay. He had a really bad crash at Swire a few weeks ago. Been great to see him in this final, uh, but his 2024 season it just hasn't got yeah. going yet at all. Ten minutes to go. There's another driver off there. That was a two uh, motorsport was a two, driver. I think it's Neo Clark. Yes. Neo Clark has fallen down to the bottom of the order. Buttle, Pemble, and Moody, as we know, uh, didn't take the start. Guy Cunnington leading this race. So much success over the years. Now, of course, running his own team, his own effort. Look at the commitment of the drivers through the final chicane. What does yeah. he do here, Henry? Is that's a problem? Is that uh, Angus that's Scrivener the in the number 49 card, yes. that's uh, had a problem? What does Cunnington do here? Does, how does he play this when he knows he's got Hunter and Higgins right behind him and a very fast-charging Lewis Gilbert well, in fourth? Well, Lorenzo Cordal's weekend of misery. Well, what Guy Cunnington needs to do is get his head down and drive it like he stole it. So Trowbridge leads Horton Le Spring, leads Trafeglois, leads Dol Rai. We've got, uh, you know... The south of England, you've got mid Wales, oh. you've got Scotland, and you've got the People's Republic of Thailand. We are battling it out up at the front of the British Open Championship. That's good news for Cunnington. Head down, and he's going. Well, we spoke to Matthew Higgins at the start of the weekend. We said, how is he going to race against his former teammates and good friend? He said, oh, the hard. same as I've yep. always done. Hard but fair. That was a great move from Matthew Higgins down the inside. Here comes the number 43 of Kenny wow. McQueen. And also, look at that down the inside. Number That's 33. Kean Geraghty. Kean Geraghty said this a few weeks ago in, uh, in Valencia. He's come alive. He's been off the pace in terms of race pace all weekend. We've seen it in a single lap. Now the pace is back for Geraghty in that strawberry racing machine and there's still a long way to go in this race. And you know what I like there? Jack Lilly in the number 33 car making the move. McQueen opened the door and Lilly just died through. Joshua Graham down to eighth. Macaulay Bishop down in ninth position. Geraghty tenth. Uh, and then behind the top ten, it's Rennie, Follen, Brougham, Porter, Usakovs, Hayward, Nagelvort, Perilli, Cole and Ellingham. It shows that we're going to, you know, so far, Kai Hunter, the only driver that really contended for the old plate last year, is there again. Now there's Bishop Hall, Bishop oh, passing oh, oh. Graham, and uh, Garrity trying to go around the outside of Graham as well. So he makes a move. Graham comes back up the inside. Now, if I were Key and Garrity, uh, these two drivers, they raced in juniors last year together. I would just follow Macaulay Bishop. Every time Bishop opens the door, oh dear, black flag for Jamie Perilli. And I don't know why that would be. Perilli, he was running in about 60 to 70 place. There's Lewis Gilbert up into P2. Kai Hunter, his quest for a fourth British Open title is beginning to hang by an unravelling thread. But if there's one thing we've learned over the years in this commentary box, Henry, is it's never count out Kai Hunter. There's a bit of management, of course, to do in this race. We're still not in the second half of it on time. Coming round through the final chicane once again, Guy Cunnington having taken the lead away from Hunter on lap two. There you see the black flag for the number 40 of Perilli out of this race. 
up to Christmas Corner they go. Here comes Lewis Gilbert. Has oh. he got the speed? He's going to the inside for the move for the lead in the O plate final. And Senior Otax has done it I... through. Brilliant stuff from the 2021 winner of this race. Is Guy Cunnington going to strike back? No, as out of the race after that black flag, there is the number 40 of Pirelli. Now, J uh, Teddy Pritchard Williams has just passed the reigning O plate, GP plate, and British champion to move himself into fourth position. Gilbert, uh, I ignore uh, the fact we've lost Matthew Higgins from the uh, timing and scoring pylon, but I can assure you that he is out there in the number uh, two, Dan Holland Racing. I love this. Kraft Motorsports, Guy Cunnington Racing, Dan Holland Racing, Strawberry Racing, Hunter Motorsports. This is the curtain raiser to what we're going to see all year in the British Championship, and I cannot wait and there's more coming through from the back as well kata mcqueen and jack lilly working together right now keen garrity and macaulay bishop have swapped uh, places once more bishop's hopes of uh, of well, replicating what hunter did in 2020 moving from being the junior champion the year before and winning the seniors on first go is probably fading away right now five minutes to go Gilbert still leading this race from Higgins and Connington. He's got a bit of a gap sparks as they run flying. up towards uh, Christmas Corner. Indeed, Sparks flying full commitment here at Wilson Mill. Uh, absolutely fantastic. There's McQueen. And then you've got another, you, uh, run through the foot of the five teams, seven different teams, the top seven, KR Sport and Sam Pollitt racing all there as well. Oh, this is great, great stuff, but you know, not for the team owners, and Higgins looks at Gilbert defence, four and a half minutes to go, uh, Gilbert's thinking to himself, well, you know, it's a bit early to bed, however, oh, Oy. and uh, Higgins was saying, yes, uh, Lewis, three wide, coming into the new corner, and Teddy Pritchard-Williams is up in the second place, he's had his strawberries this morning, Super Ted is flying. Is indeed, Guy Connington retakes the lead of the race, has got a bit of a gap the rest of them have got to get organized now joining the pack of uh, the at the back there you've got Caden McQueen and Jack Lilly down the inside Bishop on Geraghty for eighth place so many laps those two drivers have raced each other around here through seniors this weekend through juniors through the cadets years as well great to see them fighting in the top 10 once more but we're focusing here at the front of the order on this battle for the lead guy cunnington holds on to it for now but teddy pritchard williams this is why they call him super ted is closing in now it's got to be up it's a christmas you would think but is three and a half minutes too early to go henry uh no i mean in this type of race you've got to go when the car comes to you you've got to go pritchard williams to the inside Whoa. wheel to wheel cunnington ruses ground down to third and Gilbert so it's now Pritchard Williams Gilbert Cunnington Hunter here comes Higgins and you've got now Lily and McQueen and Bishop have joined the party Hunter back to third and this is it this is when Kai Hunter starts to strike he can he can sense that weakness of ones ahead he knows three minutes is more than enough time for him to race through back to the front of an order and take his third senior Rotax O plate in a row less than three minutes to go Teddy Pritchard lead to the end of lap number 12. Lewis Gilbert is right there. We've already seen him pull one move up into Christmas Corner. What is the waft like up the hill? It's not bad for either of them to the inside. Pritchard Williams, that's going to bring Hunter back into play. Connington back into play. Higgins, Lilly, McQueen, Bishop, Garrity, Graham, Joshua. Graham's back in this as well. Oh. As down into Ashby. Oh. Teddy Pritchard Williams is oh. trying to hold them all up. Surely this is going to come to blows for someone. Three wide. McQueen. McQueen on the outside takes fourth place that is experience round this Wilton Mill circuit Caden McQueen is on the charge you know what Lewis Gilbert there he did he gave a little nudge to Teddy Pritchard Williams going into Marshby's and slowed down inadvertently back at the field that was very very gently driving there from Lewis Gilbert because he knew that he probably pushed him wide and we've now got Gustav Usakovs in 12th place is the last driver in this pack. 
Guy Cunnington has fallen down. Two, four, six, eight. We've got about 20 drivers. I know Alpha Live have got a new feature. Race of the week. You can close the poles on it. It's going to be this one. 90 seconds to go. Teddy Pritchard-Williams still leads. Kai Hunter waiting for that opportunity to go through. You know he's going to go for it. This is why he's been the <laughs> race winner in this race so many times. Three times before. Can he find a way through? In, back in comes Gilbert as well. Over the curb again. Jumping over that curb. Huge amount of it taken by Guy Cunnington. There's going to be three more laps of this one, ladies and gentlemen. And we still don't know. We haven't a clue who's going to be Open Champion for 2024. Hunter to the outside. Oh, no. And goes across the grass. Pritchard Williams spins out. And it's gone. The hope of being another Welsh champion in this race is over. Lewis Gilbert has come to the front. Lewis Gilbert, could he take another victory like he did in 2021? Wow. Matthew Higgins is still there. Bishop's there. <laughs> Macaulay <laughs> Bishop. Don't we wrote him off, Bishop didn't we? Yet. What are we doing in this comms box? Because Macaulay Bishop, the winner of the junior race last year, with two laps to go, Hunter is out. Hunter that is out. it, the run for the last two years will not continue to three and it's one two three clear of the field gilbert defends the outside bishop, bishop around the, the outside, outside. That oh is my outrageous. goodness me the junior champion from last year has done thousands of overtakes around wilton mill over the years that may well be the best one he's ever done but the work is not complete oh, oh, no. time is up we're on the penultimate lap Bishop hits the front. Macaulay Bishop leads this race. Higgins to the inside of Gilbert. The clock has struck zero. The countdown is over. One lap, 1,200 metres. Macaulay Bishop leads by 10 cart lengths at what has been an absolutely pulsating race. Checks over his shoulder. Higgins is second. Gilbert, the fight, the fight is on further back. Jack Lilly defending from Graham, Cunnington, Porter. But it's a Dan Holland 1-2 on a weekend where, well, you've got to be time it right. That's what you've got to do. Macaulay Bishop will come into Osiers. Higgins in second and full Slim Shady in effect round the outside, round the outside. Bishop is going to be British Open champion for the second straight year. He did everything to win in juniors. He took every win, and that's his first big one in seniors. Macaulay Bishop becomes senior Rotax British Open champion for 2024. <laughs> he was down in eighth place. We wrote him off, but that's why you shouldn't. Macaulay Bishop, I tip you know my something? hat to yes. you over all the years I've seen this man race around this racetrack. That... That was the best one yet. Do you know something? I haven't seen emotion like that. Last year, he made a bit of history. He won two British titles. Last, I haven't seen emotion like that from Macaulay Bishop since he won the 2020 British Cadet IARMY Championship at PFI. That's how much it means to him because he's got a huge weight of expectation on his shoulders coming into this year. And uh, yeah, he raced in senior in the grand finals. I've got to say, he didn't endear himself to a lot of people with his pick him up, put him down, you know, attack, 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 attack attitude. That was two months ago. Oh, there's a nose cone for Matthew Higgins. That will drop him out of the podium. There's Caden McQueen. I tell you what, let's run down the provisional finishing order as they finished on track because we had 10 drivers, well, uh, 12 drivers separated by four seconds. It was Bishop, Higgins, Gilbert. But we know Higgins has got a penalty. Then we have McQueen fourth, Morgan Porter from 19th to 5th, Jack Lilly in 6th, Joshua Graham, Guy Cunnington, Gustav Usakovs, Kian Geraghty. Gustav Usakovs gained 17 places in that race and just missing out on the top 10. Ben Folland, Tristan Rennie, Spencer Braun, Brandon Nagelvoort and Reg Hayward. The list of winning Teddy Pritchard-Williams finishes 18th 
Oh, what could have been? There's Reg Hayward up and out of his cart already. There's Kai Hunter, and you know, it hasn't gone this time, but you know, the team, the family team, they're there. They, did, they, they are. are there. Alfie Lawrence's mechanic uh, helping hit the cart back to the thing. We're going to, obviously, Nicole's going to speak to our winners. We are going to speak to, uh, well, I will come back to round it off, but that was 12 minutes of everything that we love about this sport. I'll I tell you what, mate. We, we The two of us, we've, we've been round the world. We've been round, we've, you've, yourself, you've been to America, we've been round Europe. I, I don't think it gets any better than that. Here no. in the British, the Virtual Trees where it's Championship. At. Daventry is Senior where it's at. final. That was tremendous. Never mind race of the week. I think that's a contender for race of the year. Ooh, and doors, it's, only, it's only March, ladies and gentlemen. If you enjoyed that, if it's your first time here, make sure you've clicked that subscribe button. Well. And, uh, of course, to our casting UK as well. What a, what a way to finish things here at Wilton Mill. I thought that we would, I mean, the, the race of the year, I mean, we, we, had a, we had a couple of amazing races in the USA earlier this year. We had a fantastic Mighty Bambino electric race at Glanagh Gorse last weekend. Mm. That is a, for an MS UK, a Motorsport UK British title. Uh, but <laughs> there's the smiles. Wow. There's the smiles. And Teddy Pritchard as well. Teddy, he said that he was going to be a factor, that he was he coming was. forward, he, and he was. And, uh, um, but there's, uh, there's Gary Shield from Jag Rotax and uh, Macaulay Bishop. He passes the telephone of doom. There is no thing. And there's, uh, there is, uh, yeah, Gary and uh, Tina Shield from Jag Rotax. Now what he's got to do, he's got to get over the way scales. Uh, there's Lucy Derrick, who's been providing a lot of social media content for us this weekend. She's part of a really big Motorsport UK Alpha Live team of officials. Let's have a quick, a quick look. Can we? <laughs> a quick look at the <laughs> highlights of this one. Uh, Hunter and Cunnington led away. It was a good, clean start. There was, there was a Stefan Kasmarsic at the back of the field, losing a bit of ground. That was the problem, Archie Buttle and Ewan Charman. And it was all handshakes at the end of it, so that was okay. Cunnington led from Hunter, and this was sort of like quite calm because there were only four, five drivers in the main pack at this point. However, just the nature of the racing, people, you know, they weren't overly defending. However, it was close. Higgins, he made his bid for victory. Guy Cunnington, this was about three and a half minutes ago. This is where we said, you know, what has Guy Cunnington got to do? I was like, drive it like you stole it. Yep. Uh, Gilbert went for the move and got the in, got the move done. However, Gilbert then started to defend. Obviously, he's thinking, okay, if I lose, if I'm not going to lose one place, look at the sparks coming over the curbs. About there, oof! That was one of the Craft Motorsport carts. Uh, jig appointment to the jig for that cart. Um, but that, yeah, that's this is where it all started to get a little bit um, touchy. It did indeed. Guy Cunnington took the lead once again. Teddy Pritchard Williams up to second place. And then the Welshman went on the attack in his first uh, British Car Championship a, this weekend was... for Strawberry. <laughs> but they're very close there. Yes. Got to the front. Great move from Lewis Gilbert there to, uh, to take and, second place. And that's, and where, Gilbert, else that's where Gilbert in. backed the field up because he knew he'd give Pritchard a bit of a nudge going into Ashby's. So he then slowed everything down. And that's what sort of the, kicked off the chain reaction that eventually led to this. It's this moment indeed. Hunter having a strong second half went to the outside. A little bit of oversteer yeah. for Pritchard Williams on corner entry. That took both of those drivers out. And then the moment which, let's see this again, Bishop to the outside. That's a that's, that's two of the top four from last year's Senior Road Tax British Championship that he's just gone by. I know he had a, oh. a relatively easy run to the junior title last year. Well, that's, That was mega. Well, that's two drivers that have both finished the top 10 of the, of the Rotax Grand Finals. The, world, the, the, best, yeah, in the best, world best in the world at Rotax. And Bishop, his first, senior, first year as a senior driver, pulls off an absolute worldy of a move. And, uh, well, if that's not wow. whetted your appetite for the How long till PFI? Ahead? Can we go to PFI now? Three weeks. Can we pack up You're going to have to Three wait, weeks. Henry. Oh, Three God. weeks. I can't but, uh, Yeah, well, oh. that's... Uh, properly got us going here in the box ready yes. for uh, round one of what will be a five round meeting for this year's Rotax calendar uh, for the full 
uh, Vera Tools British Kart Championship season. PFI on the weekend of the 19th to 21st of April, Lark Hall uh, in mid-May. Warden Law, great to be going back to Warden Law at the end of June. Kim Bolton and then back here for Wilton Mill uh, to finish the season as well. It is going to be a stunner. If you thought last year's Senior Rotax Championship was good, I think 2024 is going to be uh, even better. Absolutely brilliant stuff from, uh, from all 34 drivers. Uh, we knew it was going to be a competitive one, and uh, indeed it was. Hopefully we'll be uh, down in the paddock, down in Park Ferme shortly. Uh, with uh, Nicole Sutherland. And yes, we can now head down to Park Ferme uh, to get some of the thoughts of our drivers from that incredible senior Rotax O-plate final. Nicole Sutherland, over to you. So final race of this weekend, complete senior Rotax. We're here with Lewis Gilbert, who finished second. Lewis, how did the race go for you? Yeah, it's pretty hard when you're starting a little bit further back, but we got we got to front pretty easily, and then it was just a fight from there. To be honest, uh, a few up, ups and downs during the race, but we I think we we done a good good job to get second, so I'm happy with that. Well, very very well done, Lewis. And is there anybody you'd like to thank? Yeah, big thanks to Craft Motorsport for getting us here. Potenza Racing Engines for the ongoing work with the power, and uh, mum and dad, Kyle, Luke, everyone back at home who's uh, supported us. Well, congratulations, Lewis. Thanks very much. We'll just flip over to third place, which is provisionally Caden McQueen. Caden, how was your race? Give us a give us a debrief. Uh, yeah, very messy. Um, you know, like I said previously in the interview yesterday, uh, everyone's given going to give it their all. It's not about championship points. It's just a one-off race, and you know everyone wants to win the O plate. So uh, the first big big British race of the year, uh, everyone gives it their best shot, and I think that just sometimes was maybe a little bit too far and got a little bit messy. But uh, yeah, no, it was good. I don't think we quite had the pace. We just managed to race it well and bring it home in third. Yeah, and of course, the British Kart Championships will be here later on in the year. We'll be returning to Wilton Mill, but of course, for that race, points will count. How are you feeling about that one? Yeah, I think uh, maybe a little bit of work to do, uh, more my side than the team. Uh, but that's not an issue. We've got plenty of time to, to get everything dialed in and ready for that event. And is there anybody you'd like to thank for this weekend, Caden? Yeah, a massive, uh, massive thank you to KR Sport, um, KR Sport Engines as well. You know, my sponsors behind the scenes do an amazing job to make me be here. Uh, and also to my parents for putting so much time and effort into something that, you know, is, is a hobby that's very expensive so, um, and time consuming. But yeah, no, a big thank you to everyone behind the scenes. They've done an amazing job and give me something that, that can win. Thanks very much, Caden. And of course, the driver we're all looking forward to hearing from, Macaulay Bishop. Macaulay, I don't think I can say a lot more than what a move. Yeah, it was good. I mean, um, I was sitting in P3. Uh, the whole race, I wasn't that quick and like raw pace, but I'd um, all start defending, made my way up the list. And um, yeah, two laps to go, just, just, um, you know, I just got a bit creative, you know, just, went for the move see if it worked it worked and then um got a little gap in the last lap just got my head down and then yeah just finished the race p1 and i think uh, a move like that especially around the outside in that corner on two very very quick drivers not many people would even consider it what what was going through your head well i was just sitting behind them and um i was like i might as well just go for it um i nearly went off the track but i'm um, lucky i just managed to keep it on the track and is there anybody you'd like to thank for this weekend mccauley yeah, Dan and brother for mechanicing, all of DHR, support's been really good. Uh, Dan, uh, my mum as well, and Time Racing Engines. Congratulations, Macaulay, provisional O-plate champion. There's your plate.